booktube Lynette here and today I'm going to be bringing you an unboxing before I get into the details of the box and the company then I just want to say if you hear any external uh, banging or thumping um, it's probably my neighbour I live in a block of flats and he's doing some work outside in his garden at the moment but because he's the upstairs flat obviously um, I hear him coming down his stairs and going out his front door because that's right next to my bedroom so I apologise for any extra noises you hear today. Uh, but yes, I'm going to do an unboxing for you. And today I'm going to unbox <coughs> Bookbox Club. Bookbox Club is a YA subscription service based in the UK. Uh, they do different levels of subscription. They do two levels for the YA box. And that is the box with the book and all the goodies. And then they also do a separate one where you can just get the books. They have also recently introduced a new service which is aimed at children as well. But I'll leave the website linked down below so that you can go and check them out and see if it's something you'd like to do. So without further ado, let's get into what's in the box. I have already pre-slit it. So I'm just going to try and open it without everything falling out and um, yep yeah, that's what the box looks like on the inside so lots of lovely blue tissue to take out and get strewn across my floor so the first thing you get is a spoiler card so uh, which reminds you what the theme is so for june this year it's the courageous and kind theme I'm going to leave that down on the table so that I can't actually see it because if I look at it, it will tell me what the book is. You also get an envelope addressed to you, which has uh, in it, it says what the book is. So you open this last as it tells you on the envelope, um, but it tells you when the book club uh, meeting, online meeting will be. So that if you've read the book and want to go and talk about it with other members, you can. <clears throat> and then the next thing in the box which I'm going to open last and that is the book this month it is a hardback book again uh, and I believe it's going to be a new release for June so I can't wait to see what that one is so the next thing that I pull out of the box is a little little pot I'm not sure what that's for but it's got lots of different flower pots on it um, which is quite lovely that will actually Guy quite nicely. I find a spot for that on one of my shelves here. Uh, I think I'll probably put it there for now. So that's quite a nice little pot. Um, I'll have a look at the spoiler card at the end once I know what the book is and I'll tell you what all of them are for and who they're made by. Um, then we have this little hanging uh, card and I'll just hold that up. And it says, have courage and be kind. I think that's actually really quite sweet. Um, I've actually got on my bed, they did uh, Beauty in the Box theme, which was the first ever box I got from them a few years ago. Um, and they did a little hanging thing then. Um, and I've got that hung over the end of my bed because I've got a bedstead. So I think I might actually hang that one on the other side of the, uh, the bed frame. Um, so I've got a little matching set. And then I've got a little postcard here which I think might be um, advertising a book called The Short Knife by Ellen Caldercott uh, but it says I stand on the threshold it isn't too late to turn back to follow the path if that's what I choose so that's actually quite a nice little saying actually um, that actually the last 18 months um, like I say I've had some changes in my life and with the way the world is at the moment with coronavirus, there may be more changes to come. So uh, that's quite a nice little saying, um, quite mindful at the moment. So I quite like that. Thank you. Ah, now this one, I recognise the theme. Uh, this is from Narnia and it's a decal for something. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like it's something you would stick in a window, um, but it says courage, dear heart got a picture of a lion and quite obviously that is from uh, the lion the witch and the wardrobe that's something that um aslan says to one of the girls in uh, it's been a while since i read the lion the witch and the wardrobe in a couple of years um i have been doing a reread of the series but i'm 
haven't quite it's been a couple of years since i actually read that one um but yes well that's a, oh, that's also a lovely saying as well and then the next thing out of the box is i think it might be a packet of seeds i'm not quite sure it's miraculous blooms everyone gets a miracle i wonder if it goes with the pot um i'll have to have a look uh let's open it up and see what's on the inside oh yes it is ah it is it's a seed ball um so yes ah so i just need to uh they give you they've given you the soil and everything to go with it so not quite sure what they are but um we'll see that's something i'm going to have to keep out of my cat's way because they like to eat flowers so that should be fun um but that's a lovely little thing and then the last thing out of the box uh -huh. someone heard i'm a sweet too um so from the bear and bee sweet company we've got some lovely little rainbow uh chews so and they are fully vegan um, and they are free from soya, nuts, milk and alcohol. So I, I got a huge sweet tooth. So thank you, Bookbox Club. Um, yes, they're probably not going to last very long. Um, they are going to go straight in my drawer uh, because I do like to snack when I'm reading and I tend to snack when I uh, read and snack when I'm in bed. So those are going to go straight in my bedside cabinet drawer. Uh, for me to eat a bit later on when I'm reading. <clears throat> so last but li not least is this month's book. Uh, so let's get the lovely silver string off, which I think my cats are now going to chase all over the place if I let them have it. They always wrap it so nicely um, at Book Box Club. Uh, it always comes in this lovely, well, I think they have changed the design of the paper. I took a break from getting their books, um, their boxes a few a couple of years ago. Uh, ah, right. So there was actually a bit of a clue in the box. Um, the postcard is actually for the book and the book is The Short Knife by Erin Caldercott. I actually haven't heard of this one at all. Um, I believe it is a new release. Uh, so I am just going to read from the front of it. Also, you get a signed book plate for you to stick in the front if you so wish. Uh, so I'll just read from the front flap for you uh, so you know what this book is about. The moment the Saxon stepped onto our land, it began. He was the first stone thrown down the mountainside that bounced and rattled the rest loose until I was caught in the landslide. The world seemed to be built by men trying to outfrighten each other. Where was the place for girls like me in all that? The Roman Empire has withdrawn from Britain, throwing it into the chaos of the Dark Ages. May has been kept safe by her father and her sister, Haf. But when Saxon warriors arrive at their farm, the family is forced to flee to the hills where British warlords lie in wait. Can May survive in a dangerous world where, her speak, where speaking her mother tongue might be deadly and where even the people she loves most can't be trusted? Ooh. I've been saying recently that uh, I've been quite getting into the idea of historical fiction. Um, and I've recently read, and I don't know which shelf it's on now, um, but I recently read Lancelot uh, by, oh, there it is, uh, by Giles Christian and I wanted to read more historical fiction um, so this one sounds like it's set back um, in very early uh, years of England probably more the north of England um, during the Saxon invasions and obviously the Roman withdrawal so be quite intrigued I'm quite intrigued by that one I quite like the sound of that one so where um, last month's book ended up on the TBR for the following month I think this one might end up on a TBR very soon as well so quite looking forward to reading that one thank you very much bookbox
Right, so now on to where everything came from. So as we know, the book is The Short Knife by Ellen Cal Caldercott. Um, the Have Courage and Be Kind banner is by Georgiou Draws. Uh, so, um, and the card says, Ugly stepsisters giving you a hard time. Carriage turned into a pumpkin, lost your shoe. Don't fret, just hang this exclusive botanical banner and calmly repeat Cinderella's mantra. Ah, now I recognise it. I didn't before. I'm not a huge Cinderella fan. I love Disney, uh, but as you can probably tell, Belle is my Disney princess. So, right. So, the Rainbow Jellies. Uh, they are by Bear and Bee Sweet Company. Uh, so they're going to be an excellent sugar hit for me. The Courage Dear Heart is a window sticker. Um, not sure if I'll put that in a window or not. I'm not sure about that one. Um, I live in a rented house, so I'm not quite sure if I'll put that up. Uh, but that is by Forensics and Flowers. Um, then the mini flower kit is actually uh, by Bookbox Club. Uh, still doesn't say what it is it just says grow a tiny floral mi miracle with this handy flower patch pouch simply plant water and sit back and enjoy the blooms and yes this is a miniature plant pot and that is by Blanca Gomez at cosaminimas.com Cos um, so bring a sense of well-being to your desk with this super cute mini plant pot if you're not green fingered it makes an equally excellent egg cup so that was everything in the book box club for june uh i'm really looking forward to getting actually july's i can't remember what july's theme is but i think i'm going to get july's as well i think that might be another fantasy themed one um so yes that's uh that's the unboxing and i will see you all again soon bye